Hello everybody and welcome to Romanceville's Tarot. I'm about to begin here with a reading. Oh, this is your general reading so it might not resonate with everybody so please do take whatever does resonate with you and simply leave the rest of it aside. If you do have any questions, if you would like to contact me, may it be for a question, may it be for a reading, Please do not hesitate. My information is right below into the YouTube description box and it will be my great pleasure to assist you. Also, if you do enjoy the channel and you have not yet subscribed to the channel, please do click onto the subscribe button to show your support to the channel and to myself and it is always and greatly appreciated and I do thank you so very much. So with no further ado, let's begin this reading. This is a very important reading with Spirit. Spirit has either some warnings or some blessings or a combination of both to give you. So I am going to deliver them as we speak. Let's begin with apprehension, followed by liberation. We have the message and we have the amethyst. So let's begin over here with a little bit of apprehension. This is about uh, moving out into the world. It's a lot about doubt. It's a lot about fear. Now, it's time to simply get going. There is nothing to fear. You need to take the first step, but you need to just do it. And you're going to find that all is simply going to work out for you. And the longer you procrastinate, the harder it's going to be. It's completely understandable that you feel unsure of yourself. The first step is sometimes the very hardest. You have much to offer and you will realize this as you move out into the world. So you must be brave. Even if it you initially make some mistakes, you are going to be well received. Now treat every day as a learning experience. As your confidence increases, so too will your self-esteem and your success. So you are a sincere, you are a beautiful person. Do not doubt yourself ever. Tell yourself that you surrender your fear and you replace it with love. This is about surrendering your doubt and replacing it with confidence. It's seeing yourself moving out into the world with beautiful ease. And it's giving thanks for all that you learn, all that you experience. And each day is simply full of possibility. Moving on forward to your following message. And your following one is liberation. Now, liberation wants to speak to you about uh, breaking, breaking free from a negative attachment that you might have right now. So, whether you are realizing it or not, you have become a little bit too emotionally attached or dependent on someone or something. Or maybe you've allowed or inadvertently caused someone to get too emotionally attached to you. Now what at first seemed like a healthy friendship or an interest now seems to be taking a little bit over your life or maybe is creating a little bit too much codependence. A situation that initially seemed like a positive has now revealed its negative side. Now this, in effect, like a form, is like a form of addiction. You are advised to examine this issue and then create some space between you. For your sake and the sake of others, you must decide whether it's going to take what it's going to take to break free from this negative emotional attachment. Initially, this may cause some resentment and even a certain sense of panic, but the end result is going to be worth it. And when you manage to emotionally detach yourself from the issue at hand, you're going to have learned a very valuable lesson and this is going to serve you very well within your future. So tell yourself, this is about releasing yourself from all negative attachment. It is trusting that this is for your highest good. And trust that this is for the highest good of everybody who is involved. And this is about helping others most, but not allowing them 
or yourself to be codependent. And it is about looking at every situation, but in a balanced way. Moving on forward to the intriguing message for you. And the message, this is about positive news. It is a positive outcome. The anxious wait is nearly over and a time of celebration is near for you. You are soon going to be receiving some good news. Now this may come from a land far away or it may come from somebody who's very close to you. In any case, an issue of major importance has a positive outcome. Now this may relate to you or someone who is very dear to you. And this is going to be such a relief. You can now rest easy in the knowledge that all is simply well. Thank the universe for this blessing and give thanks to the earth and to the stars also. Remember that our lives are forever held in their eternal embrace. Now that whether we know it or not, we are surrounded always by unconditional love. And this is about thanking the earth and the stars for every blessing that you have. It's giving thanks for the love that feels and surrounds you. You are loved unconditionally by a benevolent universe. And your mind is simply full of light and your heart is forever grateful. And that was your message. Moving on forward to your final message, we have over here the Amethyst. And the amethyst is all about a transformation, but it's also about a certainty and some confidence. Now, there's going to be a profound transformation that is taking place in your life. After much soul searching, you're now back into control. And a new you is going to be emerging or is emerging right now. Poised and with a renewed sense of confidence, you can move forward with great certainty. The past is now behind you and the hard work has been done. All you have to do is decide what it is that you truly want right now. Everything is possible. Listen to your heart and don't settle for second best. Set your course and then go for it. And be certain, be confident and all is yours for the taking. You are blessed. Tell yourself, I give thanks for the transformation and the healing that has taken place. I move through life with gratitude. I move through life with certainty. I move through life with confidence. I achieve my goals and what I focus on, I can create. And this is such a beautiful way to conclude this reading. So that being said, this does finish your reading. I do hope that you enjoyed it. I do hope that it brought you some uh, very interesting thoughts, some positive outcomes. If you uh, would like to contact me, please do so. My information is right below into the YouTube description box. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Have yourself a beautiful day. Thank you for being there. And I will see you tomorrow with a new message. Oh, and if you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe. See you tomorrow.